Chris, welcome to Bolton Wanderers. How have you settled in during your first week and a half of the club? Yeah, really enjoyed it. And um, there's been a, you know, like a whole team uh, coming at the same time, so it's just been a case of um, of bedding in, uh, getting our fitness up, and um, getting to know each other. So yeah, I think we're we've enjoyed the week and uh, we're ready to start start playing. What enticed you to come and play for Bolton Wanderers? Um, definitely uh, the opportunity, uh, the club, um, the plights. Of sort of, I was I was aware of it before, but obviously it doesn't mean that much to you when you're sort of seeing how how uh, the club was getting on and clubs like Barry as well, um, you know, being at Oldham. Uh, but then seeing the opportunity come about, it kind of immediately what makes you want to sort of get involved if you've got the opportunity to do so. I, um, yeah, really excited about it. Was it pleasing to be reunited with the management team? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Um, you know that they've got a challenge, um, you know, ahead of them, and for them to kind of identify you as as being a person that can help help with their challenge, um, along with sort of having a personal challenge, uh, that that again was exciting. How would you describe yourself as a player? What would you say your main attributes are? Um, hopefully, um, strong and reliable. Um, someone that can, can sort of spearhead things at the top of the pitch. You know, and start by working hard to get the ball back as high on the pitch as possible um, yeah and just bringing people into play and, and chipping on in with goals you were one of of course nine players that came in on transfer deadline day to add competition for places in the squad can you sense the hunger and determination amongst the group in training yes definitely yeah uh, everyone's just kind of chomping at the bit to to get get playing uh, because like as as you say we're on the same boat we've not played many games um, so we're all kind of excited to start start playing games and uh, and you know get the points yeah you've not played football this season obviously you played regularly last season at Oldham does that mean that you're itching to get back out there yeah um, yeah like like everyone else as well um, we've all come back to pre pre-season expecting to play wanting to play football and we've not had the chance to do that so now we've been given the opportunity a month into the season and um, we're sort of like, like dogs really wanting to get get started Season tickets only went on sale this week, and I, th I believe over seven and a half thousand have been sold. There's a positive vibe around the place at the moment. I, I guess you wanted to play a part in that continuing, really. Exactly right. Um, again, just to see where the club, you know, was a couple of weeks ago, and, and you know where it, it can get to. Um, you definitely want to be part of that because there's something special um, to be done, and uh, yeah, to, to be part of it would be would be great. We go, of course, to one of your former clubs, Rotherham United, tomorrow. You must be looking forward to going back there. Yes, definitely, yeah. Um, looking forward to going back. Um, and I suppose just focusing on business and getting three points, which is the most important thing. Just finally, there'll be a full away end at Rotherham tomorrow. Two and a half thousand Wanderers fans will make the trip. That'll be great to see, won't it? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, for the players that, you know, we're all sort of new to it. Uh, so just how that backing is only going to kind of help us and spur us on. Um, where if you sometimes if you go to a, go to a ground and there's not much support there, um, you might find it a bit, bit a bit daunting. But to have that behind you is going to definitely um, give us that extra ten percent.